I followed The Division closely when it was first announced. I didn't care about the game, but damn, those graphics were gorgeous. It then became a thing of controversy as it was downgraded in later previews, so I felt I owed it to the game to give it a try on the recent free weekend. I can only assume that those previews looked like ass because they were running on consoles, since on my Dino PC on highest everything, it looked fantastic. Really impressive. And the destruction's nice too. I happily fired thousands of rounds at random stuff. Most standalone boxes and props can be blasted around. Neon lights shatter satisfyingly and glass windows splinter and break off chunk by chunk. Your footprints look like they've crushed the ice beneath them. Snow glitters in the sunlight. Particles are everywhere and the game engine supports Nvidia's pretty PCSS shadows which make them look fuzzier the further away from the objects they are. It handles both outside and indoor areas beautifully. Really reminds me of GTA V, but I'd say that this one is even prettier. I could game at full 4K, but turning the resolution scaling down to 75% definitely felt a lot smoother, which helped when engaged in combat. The car windows in particular were really nice to shoot at. Doing so creates bullet holes, not decals, holes that appear to have depth in everything. Unfortunately, you can't shoot a shape and have the middle bit drop out or anything, but it's still mightily impressive. Holes can be torn through cloth, lots of thin cover can be completely obliterated, and bullet holes on metal join up to form larger impacts. Shooting a mattress revealed subtle ripples in the fabric, a feature that I have always felt has been lacking from violent post-apocalyptic games. Barricades crumble until they reveal an indestructible inner layer. I can understand why they did this for gameplay reasons, and did in fact predict this sort of technology way back in my Half-Life 3 graphics speculation video like 8 years ago. Had you given me the division back then, I'd have been super happy about the future of games, and not all like, oh, sucks because the graphics have been downgraded. The most impressive bit for me was this modern art thing. I really wanted to break it, and sure enough, it can be completely destroyed. I tried shooting out either side and leaving a bit floating in the air, but sadly ran out of ammo, and by the time I returned with more, somebody had fixed it all again. Not bad for such a war-torn city. So in conclusion, The Division is a very pretty game but also an optimised and interactive one with some impressively next-gen destruction effects. If you're gaming on a powerful PC, then it will look fantastic. It certainly doesn't deserve the flack it received for dumbing down the graphics. I give The Division's graphics two thumbs up. And the game's alright too. They're holding Dr. Candle and her staff.